Hi guys, this is lesson number 56 from our Coral Draw Training Course Series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to create this beautiful floral border using artistic media spray. We will learn how to create customized artistic media spray, how to save it and how to apply it to the selected path. As you can see in my screen, I have two floral border, circular and oval. These borders we will create from the image. We will convert the image to a vector object and after that we will use as artistic media spray. So let's see how it's done. First of all I am going to import this floral design. I will go to the file, import and here I have this floral design. Click on import. If you want to get similar floral design you can just type in the Google vector floral. Once you will type vector floral, you will get a lot of sample. You can save it in your computer and you can use for practice purpose. I will use this floral design. So this is an image. First of all, we are going to get the vector object from this. We will trace it. It is very easy once it is selected. Since it is an image, so Coral Draw is detecting. And here is the option trace bitmap. Click on trace bitmap drop down. Outline trace and line art. Here is before and this is the result click OK and this is how we have vector object. This image we can delete. And now this vector object we can fill with different color and even we can print in large scale. So let's fill with some gradient. Select it. Here we have interactive fill. Just click and drag. I am going to add simply three color. in the middle yellow and from the left side green. Now we can save it as a artistic media spray. To do that you can go to the effect and here we have artistic media. Once you will click artistic media docker opens and here we can save our customized spray. Previously I saved here you can see the same floral design. If I want to save it, I can click on the save button and it is asking you want brush or object sprayer. If I will save it as a brush, this floral design, it will be stretched with the path I will apply. And if I will click on object sprayer, this will follow the path. So we need sprayer. So we'll click it and click OK. Now it is asking to give the name. Previously I have given this name. I can replace it or I can give another name floral border 2 and then click on save. Once you will click on save you can observe here our spray is saved. Now we can create object. Let's try circular shape. Click on circle. Once the circle is selected simply click on the spray and it is applied. But here we have problem it is applied from one direction. Under artistic media superior property, we can change that. While it is selected, you can see here we have option rotation. So click it and choose relative to path. And here in the front per dabbing and image spacing, we can adjust. Let's add maybe two, hit enter, or maybe 2.5. It's really depend on your object or brush size. Here is the size. If I want, I can reduce. Let's make it 60% or maybe 80. So this is how easily we can create beautiful border by using spray. Now this is artistic media object. Let's delete this. And anytime if we want, we can break it, select it, go to object, break artistic media. So here we have the circle we use to apply this spray. Click it. By pressing shift key, we can reduce the size. Here we can increase the line. I will make it bigger. You can add your desired color. Once again, press plus key from your numeric keyboard to duplicate and make it small. Let's move the outline. Right click. So there is no outline. If I want to fill color inside, click on white color. Once the white color is added, 
any color with the percentage I can add by pressing control key press control key and click on any color this is how we edit color now you can use this beautiful frame for image for text let's try to apply to the oval once again I will create and here we have I am going to apply this to the oval shape because it is quite different once you will duplicate this object to add the background inside click on pick tool and if I want to apply same thing I will click it while the object is selected and it is applied rotation relative to path size and here is the distance maybe 2.5 and hit enter and let's reduce 2.3 okay that is fine now it is applied click on pick tool it is selected go to object break artistic media group apart and the oval shape is in the middle click outside and select the oval if directly I will reduce the size you can observe from the left and right space is increasing comparing to up and down Control Z undo so here what we can do we can use contour tool to add another oval inside to do that here we have a contour tool under shadow we have contour so simply click and drag inside so it will maintain the distance from all the side this way once it is selected go to object break contour apart we can delete this basic object and this is what we have inside now we can apply outline let's say 16 we can add some color first fill the white color right click on the white so we have white outline if I want to add some percentage from some color I can press control key and click on the color I want and if I want to add another object for solid color once again I will click on contour click and drag we have another object inside now the first thing we need to break it so go to object break contour apart click outside and select the object inner object to move outline right click here to fill color inside first I will add white color click on white then press control key and add any color gradually and another thing that is independent object now once you will select it if you want you can change the color let's change the color for this circle any single color we can apply and here you can see the distance between two object it is not same this is because the node of the oval it is end up on that point so to avoid this you can create a shape apply the same spray let's reduce the size to 75 here relative to path let's add the space 2.5 enter and you can see here our object is repeated so in this case you can just increase the increment so I added 2.8 and it's perfectly work so this is how you can adjust the objects around and after that you can break it to separate the main object that's all for now I hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload new video thank you